Hello, my name is Tasman, Present Figure Beans, and today we're about that time reviewing this uh, bootleg Funko Pop that I got off AliExpress. I have had her for a bit now, uh, well, in video coming out kind of basis. I usually do these reviews way faster, but me coming back from Poland has kind of made me postpone this. Regardless, we're doing it now. I promised that I would get a bootleg one for a while and review it and this is exactly why I warn people to not get uh, bootleg Funko Pops off Aliexpress. If they mess up something on uh, a Nendoroid, you know, it's fine, you might not use that part or you're gonna, you know, hide it in some way, but if they mess something up on a Funko Pop, it's way more apparent and though they don't move, it's all that they have. I mean, the head moves a bit, you can turn it which, uh, you know, nice, but uh, the rod key staff thingy is bent. Not as bad as I've seen in some other photos, but it is bent a bit. She has some paint issues here and there. It's especially bad on the hair over here. You can see that it wasn't painted on uh, very well. And they probably didn't even use much protection. Uh, this is hollowed out. As on par with uh, others, she doesn't stand on her own, uh, so she has a stand. Uh, this one, she stands, she stands okay on it, it's just that her body leans back a bit. She doesn't hold her head that well. Uh, this part annoys me a lot. I'm probably gonna try and uh, shift it, shift it like away, you know, off a bit. But overall, she is. Well, in general, she's quite nice. I do like her a lot. And why I got her, I wanted to see how exactly these bootlegs look. And maybe some do look better than this one. But I have some plans and I'm gonna do her a bit in a custom-y way. Uh, I'm gonna see how it will work out and in the future. So do subscribe for that. Uh, to not miss it. But... I'm gonna do probably gonna spray the like spray her in like golden uh, paint. I have some, it's easy to get a hold of, and I am thinking of how I could do it. It actually might end up looking pretty cool if I can pull it off, but it's gonna take a bit more planning and to see how I'm gonna do it. Do subscribe, and hopefully, it don't take too long to do it. Hopefully, well, I will do it. I guess I'm actually very very curious to see if it's possible. I am gonna probably do it straight up on uh, this paint. I'm gonna see how the golden color, you know, is, does it get uh, uh, overrun by this bed or not? Uh, does it hold up? And you know, it's gonna be like an easy one that anyone can do it themselves basically. But going, coming back to this figure, it's okay. I have seen some bootlegs that don't even have like this part. Not of this figure, but other Funko Pops. So regardless, um, I can still not recommend them if you want to display them. If you want to do customs or some experiments like I do, uh, do get them. It's actually worth getting it because it really didn't pay that much for her. And there are actually even cheaper ones if you do want to get them. Okay. So this is the figure itself. Uh, let's actually look at the box. She was packed in this plastic, which actually is on par. It held her up well, actually good. Though I'm gonna go throw this out because, well, <laughs> you're gonna see why. The box sucks. It was packed okay, as you could see at the beginning of the video, but uh, yeah, as many people pointed out in the, the comments, you know, of you know, when you buy it, there is a way now on Aliexpress to ask questions, and as many people pointed out, it is way darker than the original one, and it, it's, if you see this on the shops, if the hair is dark, if, you know, some if it looks a bit off, it is a bootleg, do not buy it for the original price. Some sellers might try and pass it off um, for original Funko Pop, which, that said, be very, very careful about, to not overpay for it, because they're, they're quite cheap. Regardless, uh, this is the box. 
has the rest of the cast. Uh, I think all of them, and you can find them on AliExpress, though I haven't seen Saturn yet. Uranus and Neptune I have seen, but not for Saturn. I guess they haven't bootlegged her yet. Chibi Moon and the rest of the cast is there just for Saturn. If I ever see her, I'll leave it in the comments, but for now I have not seen it. Regardless, it's a bit messed up. The bottom it has the original Funko Pop stuff down here. Of, of course it does. Wait, wait, no. Um, yeah, it, it, it's messed up. I might cut it up or well, I have no plans to keep it because this is a bootleg uh, figurine. I might uh, use up the, some of the stuff for scrapbooking or something like it. Because, well, there's no point in keeping it. It's just bent up, messed up. And that's all there is to it. Like, this plastic part is already falling off. And it's a bootleg. There's no point to keep it displayed in it. Regardless. I would like to mention... I really do not recommend it, except for making customs. Um, why I chose this over Sailor Moon and others? Well, she, Pluto is my favorite character from this series. I always liked her and she's she's badass. I just like her a lot. So, um, thank you for watching. Do watch out for me uploading the custom making of this uh, figurine. And I hope you like it. and other video so thank you for watching and see you next one bye bye